Hello there, friends, and welcome back to Alan Wake 2 as we have returned to the journey of Saga. The Saga of Saga, if you will. The name uh, choice being deliberate, I assume. We have uh, played out Alan Wake's story just about as far as we can, it would seem, uh, because we attempted to go ahead and continue his story, and we were kicked over here to uh, Saga's line which is totally fine because we have a decent amount to explore uh so all of this was previously gray so we've got the stash here we've got all of this gray stuff that was previously inaccessible underwater that sort of thing so we're a little bit uh light on ammo overall i just want to point out i did run back briefly to the lodge to grab our regular sawed off shotgun just because we're in the twos and threes uh, in terms of ammo, which is effectively like one or two enemy per weapon. Uh, just something to keep in mind here. Oh gosh, math problem. Here we go. What a way to start this off. There are 200 total vehicles in a factory consisting of bicycles and cars. Each car has four wheels and each bicycle has two wheels. There are a total of 754 wheels in the factory. How many cars are in the factory? Okay, so this is a little bit of a uh, algebra problem, right? So you have um, C, meaning cars, plus B equals 200. I, I need to get some paper and write, <laughs> and write something down here. Okay, so the first equation would be C plus B equals 200. There are a total of 754 wheels, so that means 2C plus uh, 4B equals 754. So that means that we have to redistribute. I didn't imagine this was going to turn into a math episode, but anyway. So B equals 200 minus C. So if we substitute that into the other equation, 2C plus... 4 times 200 minus C equals 754. We distribute that, so that's 2C plus 800 minus 4C equals 754. Uh, we go ahead and resolve that. That's negative 2C equals 754 minus 800, which is uh, negative uh, 46, right? Do I have that right? Negative four, because 754 plus, yeah, I think that's right. Um, 46 divided by 2 is 23. So C equals 23. 23 cars in the factory. So that would be 0, 2, 3. Is that not correct? Have I missed something here? Clearly I have. What did I do wrong? There are 200 of total vehicles in the factory. Bicycles and cars. Each car is four wheels. Oh, I switched it up. That, that was stupid. So there's 23 bicycles. So 200 uh, minus 23 equals 177. I'm going to be embarrassed if that's it. Yeah. Yep, that's embarrassing. I, I got my variables mixed up. But we got it in the end. Uh, there we go. That that was like the first proper... Um, first proper math equation we had to solve. Well, I mean, really, in a game ever <laughs> that I can think of, but especially in Alan Wake. We need to go bigger. More stick symbols, more graffiti. I want people pissing their pants when they think about going in the woods. Spread the word. All right, fortunately, we got some shotgun ammo, so we are in a good spot. I did see a sign over here for the, uh, the ranger cabin, I want to say, right? What directions are those? So the nursing home is that way. The cabin is this way. Uh, what? Yeah, we can pretty much just follow this road along, it looks like. Uh, 
I imagine we're going to run into at least one pod of enemies along the way. So we've got our we've got our shoddy here. If we were to break off to the right, it looks like there is a little bit of a detour we could go to. Why not? Uh, oh, another lunchbox. I was just going to say, that's the type of thing I would be uh, expecting here. Where is it? It's like... Somewhere right here. Oh, There's there it is. I just box. totally walked past it. Dodoy. Okay, here we go. I was going to leave you some cookies, but I was worried an animal would get them, so I didn't. But it's the thought that counts, right? That's another eight fragments. I don't know if that's enough to purchase us. Well, maybe. Thirteen. Um, let's see. Not for our pistols. Um, there's the bow one for the magnetic. There is move faster while aiming for the pump action shoddy. There's the rifle. Consecutive successful hits will slightly, will significantly reduce the time between shots. All right. And then the sawed off one, we don't have enough for. Um, I'm almost inclined to save our, save our fragments to get something a little bit better than that. I think we can do better. I'm actually shocked we haven't run into any enemies, uh, yet. Brat Falls Ranger Station. Well, yeehaw. Alright, let's take a look at our map again. So the Ranger Station... Uh, oh, there's another Colt Stash up and to the right. We should probably... Check that out, no? How do I get up there? Another cult stash? I think we're alone now. Um, okay, what am I what am I looking at here? Just oh uh, just 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 uh can I use the bolt cutters for this? No, I <laughs> I should be able to. You would think. But no. Uh any of this gonna work I'm trying I'm trying to figure out what that's showing right here I wish I could zoom in um I don't know I'm probably not going to be able to get this one unfortunately because I have no idea what that little paper is trying to tell me maybe like the location of the key I assume but what that means is anyone's best guess all right, so to the right is the ranger station over here. It's awfully dark. Um, in this here ranger station, which has got me on edge. Why don't we do a lap around real quick? feel like I'm hearing things. It might just be can't like be FBC equipment or something. Possibly. Okay, can't do that side. What about the other uh, entrance? Uh, bolt cutters? What? Are you kidding me? Why would I not be able to use bolt cutters on... Oh. Oh, screwdriver. Right, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that's what a screw... That we use a screwdriver for this, not bolt cutters. Although I feel like both would work. Anyway. Um, what do we got going on here? Anything of, of note? Gosh, that makes me think I should go back to that... Uh, that stash and see if I... If using the screwdrivers would be better. 
All right, not much. Oh, there's probably a uh, some emails to catch up on. All right, FPC documentation, test sites in Bright Falls, location and arrangements. One ranger station, two bunker woods, one in boat yard. Test sites. I guess that means the little um, like figurines or whatever. All right, let's let's log into their email. Manning your stations, from Dr. Campbell to Vega and Michaels, it has come to my attention that both of you have left your posts on several occasions while on duty to gallivant around town on personal business. This is unacceptable. You are under strict FBC protocols regarding covertness and confidentiality. And as your supervisor, I am responsible for your conduct at all times. If you find the work boring, too bad. You are to fulfill your roles and duties as I see fit and as the project requires. I am changing your posts. I'll be overseeing the watery area as it is now as it now has the most test sites to cover. The ranger cabin there will be my base of operations. Vega, you are moving to Cauldron Lake's Witchfinder Station. Michaels, you are staying in the Brightfall stations. I don't want to hear any excuses, but I do need you to acknowledge these orders. Dr. Eugene Campbell, PhD, Department of Parafictional Research. Dr. Campbell, acknowledged and understood. That goes for both the both of us, Michaels and me. It really was not gallivanting, as you put it, though, as I was attacked by some rabid animal out there in the woods, and Michaels helped me get medical attention in town. You should know all that if you read your messages, of course. In any case, orders received. A little bit of malicious compliance, it would seem. It's like, all right, if you really want us to move on, we will, but uh, don't say we didn't warn you. There we go. That makes that little... Uh, uh, a shortcut there. Cory the Cod. Fish and Tackle. Still no ammo or anything to pick up, which is a little uh, unusual. Especially considering it's an FBC site specifically. Ooh, that packet of chips looks so good right now. <laughs> Sorry. I'm actually really hungry right now, so... Uh, if only I had my own green packet of chips. Green is my favorite flavor. Hello, dear. Okay, another deer head in the in the in the tank. Uh interesting, okay. Not a single thing for me to pay, pick up. Now that is shocking. I mean there's the deer head, and I assume there's gonna be implications for that. If nothing else, like maybe a steam achievement or something, but another rhyme. Oh, there we go. Okay, that makes it worth it. Oh, that's cute. The little uh, like moose puppet toy. Little um Okay. I must have all the figurines that I need, I assume, right? What do we got here? A child needs their mother to keep them safe and a home as their hiding place. Because outside, the monsters roam and chase. When they ring your doorbell, don't yell. Don't tell them to go away. Give them treats and pray. They won't rock your house down to the ground. So a child needs their mother to keep them safe. So the mother is keeping them safe and home as their hiding place child nah. um because outside the monsters roam and chase give them treats so the monster would be this one right keep trying is it maybe just the child huh. oh there we go okay uh it did say the doorbell would ring Uh, all right, yes. Give them treats or something. Oh, this is actually happening in real time. Okay. What has it got in its pockets? Uh, what? Oh, it's a, it's like a, it's leading me on a little bit of a chase. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Another charm. 
Uh, so what did I just pick up? Oh, just a coffee mug charm. That's it. I mean... Okay. Sure. I'll take it. Um... It's a little disappointing. <laughs> just because I already have a couple of those and I, uh... They're currently in the shoe box, you know. But... Whatever. All good. Alright, so that's the ranger station. Ranger danger, as they say. So from here... We should consult our map. Uh, the cult stat maybe okay, let me let me run up there and check the cult stash again in case I'm just being a total dum dum who didn't use their screwdriver. I feel like I did though. I felt like I did use the screwdriver, but maybe not. Yeah, okay. Okay, not a total dum dum. But it's like if I could, if I use the screwdriver on a different door lock, like, why can't I use it on that one? You know what I mean? How does, how does the physics check out on that? Is there anything over here of use? Like, I would take another lunchbox happily. Nope, just utter darkness. Uh, here's the beach. Oh! Okay. I'll take that. A little manuscript page. Koskela's break into the FBC lab. When the government seized the land around Cauldron Lake and set up their laboratory there, Ilmo Koskela knew that they knew something. Together with his brother, they felt obliged to take a look inside. The Federal Bureau of Control's security was a joke. The Koskelas walked in delivering coffee. Back in Watery, they pored over the stack of files they'd grabbed. The FBC was researching something in the lake, something they called the Shadow. Everyone who went into the lake came back a monster. Hartman had gone into the lake. He'd come back bad. The FBC had captured him, interrogated him. Based on his ravings, Barbara Jagger had gone into the lake as far back as the 60s. The, uh, she'd come back bad. The writer, Alan Wake, had gone into the lake. He'd faced Jagger, pushed some mystic light switch into a hole in her chest, flicked the switch and gotten rid of her. If Wake ever came back, he was bound to be bad as well. So they think. I mean, they're sort of correct. It depends if they think, uh, you know, Scratch is him or he is Scratch or what have you. All right. So, um, another stash here on the right, it looks like. Up there. Oh, and some enemies as well. Buckle up, y'all. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Alright, there's another one coming. Is there a third one? Oh, yeah, he's up top. I see him. I can't quite get the flashlight angle on him yet. Where is he? Oh. Uh oh, I'm out. That's bad. Can I still shoot him? Guess I can try, but I'm out of flashlight stuff. Inventory full as well. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna I'm about to waste all my ammo in this guy. Fortunately, I have the audio cues. All right, uh, we have to we have to book it out of here, unfortunately, because I have no flashlight. Oh, 
Oh gosh. What am I supposed to do? Like, let him grab me, I guess? So that I can use a flare, or what? Man, like, it's kind of a bummer, because, like, for... For Wake, his flashlight automatically recharges a tad. Let's go ahead and switch it up to... This. Throwable flare, I guess. Is that... Okay, let me check Do if I have that equipped to a slot. Quick slot. We'll put that in two, maybe. Okay. This is, that's my idea. Yeah, okay. That's our, that's gonna be our plan. Let's find this guy, we're gonna get right up next to him, and pop the flare. Will it work? Only one way to find out. I don't know where he is. Maybe he went back to the darkness. Or despawned or something. Another Wouldn't that be box. nice? Another locked box. I need light, apparently. Well, I don't got it. So, I mean, I assume it's just this flashlight, so this is the order. So the first one, I guess, I mean, that's just the general cult symbol, right? So the, the arrow's out wide. Oh, gosh. I see more of them over there. All right, here we go. Oh, no ammo. Okay. I've got the similar problem <laughs> to what I had before now. So, the bright side, the flare plan worked. On the less bright side, the literally the less bright side, uh, I'm somewhat screwed. Uh... Okay. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh god. All right, so even though we died, um a little bit of a, a silver lining to it. So apparently the keys were just lying around the corner of the ranger station. Like as I was coming back over here from where I spawned in, uh, found, found the keys just lying there literally next to, to where the, the station was. So that gets us some stuff, which we don't have room for. Took me forever to figure out the hint. Wasn't Santa's butt. Why are we making this so complicated? Just give us normal fucking keys. Well, um, this is a bit problematic, isn't it? So I've got two flares. So that's something. But I seem to be at capacity once again. Well, I guess I'll know where to come back for this if we need it. So... That's something. Uh, but now we gotta go through these shenanigans again. And I'm gonna be very conservative... ...with, um... ...how I'm using my flashlight. Honestly, we know that there's a pod. So, where are you?
I know you're Another here somewhere. Box. Another locked box. Oh, maybe it's just a, a it's random when they spawn in. I don't know. So the arrows left and right. Got it. Oh, there they are right there. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely helps. Uh oh. Whew. I'm never gonna get used to this. Okay. I'll take all of that, thank you very much. Uh yeah, we'll stay with the shotgun for now, that's fine. Man, that was clutch. Clutch as hell. Alright, is there a symbol in here that I'm just not seeing? Okay, and then that one is pointing towards each other. Oh, I see. That's saying behind me. Got it, got it, got it. So the arrow's pointing away. Arrow's both pointing down. And then arrow's pointing toward each other. I'm totally going to remember all of that, right? So arrow's pointing... Away. Arrows both pointing down, and then arrows pointing toward each other. Hourglass-ish. There we go. Sick. Alright. <laughs> what do I want? Oh, I can't get anything again. We just got word that the feds have Alan Wake in custody. He came out of the lake. He's dangerous. Everyone be on high alert. We need to take the writer out. Spread the word. Cool. Another stash I cannot use due to my extreme capacity right now. I mean, on the bright side, I've got plenty of ammo now. I don't really have to worry as much. Let's switch back to the pump pump action shoddy. All right, does that make any room for us here? No, inventory full. But I assume that it's just going to stay here for the time being, right? What is this distortion? right here. Is there like a page or something on the ground that I can pick up? I'm not seeing it. Alright, how much farther do I need to go till we get to the end? Yeah, rifle ammo, rifle ammo. So if I go up here and turn left, there's something else here. Gotta find a fuse, huh? Oh no, just a generator. Okay. And... There we go. Oh, a little uh, save point maybe? Wouldn't that be nice? That would actually be huge. Wouldn't it be cool if we could use these save points as like fast travel points? I guess that would... Detract somewhat from the realism, but... I could use it. Just to come back here. Oh, well, I guess what we can do. I mean, we, I guess we don't really need it because we can go ahead and drop some stuff off in the shoebox, then go and collect all of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, here's what we need to do. We need to. We have no arrows right now. We have zero arrows. We're gonna throw that in there. We are going to snag. Whoa. Oh, that's the switching reality button. We're going to snag all of that. Um, where does that put our inventory? We're going to drop our the uh, coffee charm thingy in here as well. We're going to drop the rocket flare in there as well. That should get us um, Oh gosh, they respawned again. I was going to say that should get us enough breathing room to go and pick up the stashes, but... Right, fine, fine, fine. Where are you? Man, that takes a lot to take him down, huh? Go 
down. Wow. Okay. Good job, Saga. All right. Now keep moving. Well, we got some. We got some stuff as a result. I guess that's the bright side. Uh, what are we? What do we need to use now? Probably our service pistol. More batteries. Oh, and more ammo. Okay. That was actually not too too shabby. Uh, what do we want the most? Probably rifle ammo. Actually, we can grab everything, no problem. There we go. Good, good, good stuff. Uh, but now are we are we gonna have to run all the way back? To get oh, but we're we're actually not done yet. There's there's one more section to uh, check out. All right, well let's do that first before we make the long trek back to uh, Bright Falls, Valhalla Nursing Home. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. This is just the rear entrance or something. Yeah, we were running a little bit dry there for a while on ammo and such, but I think we're okay now. Valhalla Nursing Home that way. What is this up here? Another stash? Mayhaps? Uh oh. I hear them. There's another cult stash. Yeah, I'd like to take care of them. Oh, there we go. Okay. Where is he? Uh oh. Oh, gosh. Come on. Come on. Why is it not working? Okay. It's a lot of ammo. Oh, finally. Okay. Alright, where are they? I, I don't know where they are. Oh, there he is. Come on. God. This is a bad weapon to be using against this guy. Keep dodging until I can figure out where they are. Oh, there he is. Come on. There we go. Finally. Did I get him? Fucking monsters. Yeah, at the cost of most of my my battery. But there we go. That's something. Let's switch back to the uh Revolver. I think we've got a, a quiet moment to collect ourselves and find the bodies at least. Alright, anybody drop me anything? Yeah, there's some stuff here. Alright, what am I looking for? Just literally the keys? Okay. Honestly, we, we've done pretty okay in terms of uh, conserving, like, our health. Okay, so just literally follow the arrows. Is 
Sort of. Maybe not. Up there. Up there. That's pointing that way, now, but I don't know if that's intentional or not. There's a bucket here. I don't I don't understand what the, these arrows are trying to tell me. Yeah, I don't see any other arrows out here. Oh gosh. Are you serious? Whoa, where? Where? There they are. There we go. Finally got him. Gosh. Come on. Where are you? I don't know if that's working or not. Come on! Flashlight freaking work, please! This is the worst. Here we go. Let's throw this on real quick. Oh, I'm out of... Okay, where is he? There we go. Sheesh. Okay. Uh, hopefully that is it for now. Because I am straight up not having a good time. <laughs> uh, it's just because I keep spawning in. It's like, give me a chance to solve the puzzle, please. Please and thank you. Well, at least we can do this. Bolt cutters, right? And then this would get us back more uh, properly to uh, Bright Falls. All right, I think I'm ready to go back to Bright Falls. I'm sure I've left some some stuff in the woods, but you know what? I'm just ready to keep it moving. Cynthia's lamp. Let's just read a little bit, shall we? Rose, uh, when Cynthia Weaver was downstairs at breakfast, Rose snuck into her room. With all the lamps in the room, it took her a while to find the one with an angel. Luckily, the dream Alan had sent her had been very clear. Rose was certain that Cynthia would not miss one lamp. She had so many. Tonight, Rose would put the lamp in a shoe shoebox and let it sink into the garden pond. That's what Alan wanted. That's how she could help him. She thought the thought made her whole body buzz with joy. Cynthia knew the lamp was missing the very moment she came back to her room. She was overcome by grief. It had been Tom's lamp, one of the few things that reminded her of him. It had not worked in a long time with the cord severed and the light switch gone, but there are other kinds of light than the ones we can see. The invisible light of the angel lamp had held Cynthia together all these years. With tears welling in her eyes, she didn't see the shadows shifting in the corners of her room. So clearly the fake Alan got her to uh, dispose of the one thing that would have helped her preserve her. Alright. Well, from here, I guess we can make the long run back to... 
um, yeah, back to home sweet home, right? All right, well, that was quite a detour. Uh, there was a lot to uh, experience there in the woods, and I'm not certain that any of the resources that we left behind is worth us going back into any of that, uh, that nonsense. So, hello, ma'am. You w wouldn't believe what I've been through. So here we are. Let's let's save again. And I guess we are ready to go ahead and uh what is it? The police station that we need to go to that will uh get us to our our next uh you know sort of major chapter. Before we do that, I guess we can take a quick moment just to do a few mind palace um you know, uh, uh, clean up tasks wherever we can. Casey, David, and I took a break and moved with in watery to Logan. So that would be here, right? My life in watery. There we are. Wake even ruined my relationship with David and his story. What the fuck? Yeah. Can't you leave well enough alone, Wake? Note instructing cultists to take the water out. Oh, the writer. <laughs> Take the writer out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Mulligan and Thornton? Or... What kind of cult? There we go. Okay. And the story has some stuff that we are not able to throw on quite yet, apparently. Okay, well, with that, why don't we run back to the police station. Apparently this is the, the Rubicon, the point of no return is was the statement that was made to me. Oh. How did I miss that? The cult finds the clicker. After getting his hands on the FBC files, Ilmo Koskela knew what he was up against. He masterminded the cult, his and Yako's army, to fight the fucked up horror lurking under the lake, and a plan to keep those feds in their bunker by the lake in the dark. Outsiders would only screw things up. The Koskelas sabotaged the FBC's monitoring station and rigged it to alert them when something was brewing at the lake. One time, months later, when the alarm rang, they drove to the lake again, ready for a fight. But this time, they didn't find any monsters. Something else had washed ashore. The light switch. They'd read how Wake had stopped Jagger with it in the stolen files from that point on. Uh, stolen files. From that point on, whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. To, um... Uh, resounding success, I would guess. I'm a little bit worried about our flashlight situation because we have zero batteries left. There's there's no way for us to to uh, do anything about this. Do anything about the monsters like shadow armor. Is there anything in the town that we can cut with our bolt cutters or the oh dear diner? Maybe is that worth checking out? Well, I don't, I don't know if it's... Oh, screwdriver. It even calls it out specifically. So there is something accessible with the screwdriver. Maybe we go check that out first real quick. Also, I guess we could swing by Watery again if we wanted to. Because uh, Mayor Setter is apparently there. Although I don't know if he's there tonight. He seems sketchy. Alright, I'm just gonna break and enter here. Don't mind me. Uh, screwdriver. Okay, what do we have going on here? Dear Diary, Alan contacted me again today. There was a message hidden for me in the newspaper. He wanted to make sure I was ready for his arrival. What a silly thing to ask. Of course I'm ready. Duh, Alan. Oh, and Norman got into the dried apricots at work again. I swear we'll have to fumigate the place. 
Dear Diary, some guy at the diner got mad that I brought him a piece of cherry pie and demanded a free piece of apple, but he totally ordered cherry. And when I pointed out he already took like two bites of the cherry, he said he thought it was apple. Apple and pie and cherry pie do not look the same. I told him he could order another piece, but he'd have to pay for it, and he got so mad and started screaming about leaving me a bad review. Like I care about reviews. Anyway, I took away his pie and told him babies shouldn't be eating sweets. He shouted a bit, then left. Some people. Dear Diary, Cynthia has been acting up lately. I think she's turning into a you-know-what. Lots of you-know-what's popping up lately. I'll keep an eye on it. If things get out of hand, I can always get out the rifle. I'm sure Alan would appreciate me keeping the place safe. He would, and he did. And he still does. And will continue to. Um, what about what about here? I can't force it open. That's a shame. All right. Well, that was a little bit of a bust. Some heartwarming diary entries, though. It says there's a cult stash in the vicinity. Now, what is that all about? So, if I go out into this alleyway. Oh, it's over here. Apparently, I had no idea. I do have bolt cutters now, so I can officially get in. So that's a plus. Please tell me it's like a bajillion batteries in there or something. Another one of those cult boxes. Here we go. Work log. One Jan, overprivileged town hall folks complaining about poor TV reception, hopefully not due to the paint job. 17 Jan, took a park photo with a giant moose statue in the park. Great memento. 2nd February, damn dogs keep digging up the flowers. 31 Feb, which doesn't exist, but anyway. Park's trash can needed fresh coat of paint, painted an extra layer. 3 March, painted, uh, tried painting the large tree in the park, but weather was too hot. Cooled down on a bench in the sheltered area and had an epiphany. 26 March, replaced a screw on the purple park bench. Well, out of all those... 31 Feb is the only one that does not exist. So that would be what? Like 312 or 231? Let's try 312 as like the uh the the way that the date would be formatted. Oh, never mind. Parks trash can needed a fresh coat of paint. Okay, so that's that's gotta be the um the hint. I don't like how that guy's looking at me, at me. Are we supposed to be looking in the trash cans? Is that what the hint is? <laughs> what are you even doing back there? Uh, okay. So that that is the hint. I mean, out of all of these, that would be, yeah, Park's trash can. I'm not seeing a trash can, though. Oh, here it is. Okay, nice. So there it is. So So this one is uh left and right. Oh, so I stand here and I and I see the three different ones, I guess, right? So there's this one which is out. There's that one which is so away from each other, both pointing up. And what's the third one? I guess in the one that's in the gazebo, right? And then the cult symbol. So away from each other, both up. Away from each other, both up. Um, and then, yeah, okay. I think I got it. All right, here we go. So, away from each other, both up, like so, and then both up. Oh gosh, that's not it. Okay, what if we switch these? What if it's... Um, the other way around? Both up like that, then like that. Or like that, that, that. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. I knew it was those three in some 
Unknown order. All right. Monsters live in the woods. So they do. All right. Now we're finally ready to go to the police station. Unless there's some other cache that I'm not tracking. But I'm pretty sure that is it. Yeah. All right. Well, I feel pretty good about all these loose ends that we've managed to tie up. You know, we uh, pretty much cleared out the rest of of the unexplored territory. We got a few extra supplies. And we're ready to dive into whatever this is gonna be. Um, is there anywhere, anywhere I could save? Not really. Oh, over here. I could save over here. Let's actually get a, in a full save right there. Okay, very, very good. Actually, you know what? Why don't why don't we take a break here? Uh, we've been we've been going on for quite some time, and I don't want to jump into something uh, without us uh, being properly uh, uh, rested and ready to go. So, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Next time, uh, we're gonna dive into the mission. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you then. Bye for now.